Welcome back to Eureka Camping Center. I'm Don Morgan from 991 The Whale and my good buddy, the morning man, Jim Freed. And our special guest, Bill. How you doing, Bill? Doing great, Don. How good you to doing? See you back, Jim. Glad to be back at Eureka. Last week we uh, talked about the different types of tents you have to offer, a few of them anyway. And today you're going to put us to work and show us how to actually put up a tent. Yeah. That yep. should be fun. Now, what do we have here that we're going to uh, we're going to put up today? Well, what we've got here is a Eureka Tetragon three person. This is a basic fiberglass frame dome. Uh, excellent choice for uh, smaller outings or people who just want to. Uh, you know, to get a tent to get started without the expense of some higher end stuff. Okay. Um, but it's an excellent tent, very easy to put up, and so we are going to uh, uh, get this thing upright with your help. Okay. And uh, show everybody how quick it is. Obviously, we've got it unpacked. You've got the poles stretched out, which these yep. are nice and easy because yep. you've got the uh, the nylon or what do you call it that, that stretches. Yeah. Uh, every you know, uh, every tent pole, a little bit of shock cord shock in there, cord, right. so you don't have to sort pieces. But we have taken things out of their storage bags, done a little bit of pre-assembly here. Uh, this is always a good idea to lay the stuff out ahead of time. Okay. And so let's get started. All right. Uh, we need to open up this tent, uh, get this ready for the frame. So we just grab a corner. All right. The two poles and the main legs. Uh, dome tents are characterized by very flexible poles. And you're going to see the shape of this tent where this flexibility comes in handy. So a ring and pin setup. Uh, Jim, there's a pin with a ring on it down there and the pin gets inserted to the bottom of the pole. Okay. Now we flex that pole. We set the opposite end. And then we can just lay this right down flat. Okay. Yep. Okay. Our second pole, we repeat that. This is a lot like work, me doing work and done watching. Hey. I don't mind work. I can watch somebody else do it all day long. I represent that. <laughs> okay, now, with both of the poles set, we just stand them up. And the fabric is going to hang from this frame assembly. And we just have a loop with a toggle. Ah, uh, nice. So pull this up and we're going to trap that fiberglass right at that point. And now we need to get the rest of the fabric up there. So the frame clips. Yeah. They're just going to snap. snap. Right yeah, it'll snap right on there. Oh, beautiful. We'll work from the top down. That'll get the frame centered. The tent itself is up. We are ready to make the Rainfly cover. You can. You can use a tent like that. You have a nice view out the ceiling, uh, but awesome. keep an eye on your weather forecast. Sure and certainly heavy fog or dew. Uh, there's the potential for some moisture to enter the tent that way. But on a very nice starry night, you can sure leave the cover off and enjoy the view. Yep. Make sure Beautiful. the birds are flying over. Yep. <laughs> okay, so the rainfly piece <laughs> is going to have two little rods of its own. Okay. And these are going to insert into a couple of pockets. And I just slip this little cap in there. It's right in and here. And flex it to the side. And that goes in. Yep. That'll oh, slide okay, right in there. I see. Perfect. Nice. Okay. Pieces of Velcro. Traps the rods. Jim's got twice the work. Yeah, right? Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we brought him. <laughs> okay, now the fly rods are oriented from front to back on this tent. I'm going to walk this right around. Drape it over the tent, and you'll find Jim underneath the rain fly. Behind these loops are, are more pieces of Velcro. That should wrap around the main pole.
And then with the Velcro fastened, we locate the bungee cord at each corner of the rain fly, has a hook on it. The hook is going to go down and it's going to hook through the metal ring at the bottom corner. Okay. The larger ring? The big metal ring, yep. yep. Okay. And the tent is up. Wow. It is now ready to have any guy lines fastened to help with wind performance. Right. Uh, as well as the stakes down at the corners to help anchor the tent at the ground level. And it's ready to camp. That was great. So a very, very fast design to, to use. Uh, it's a very easy tent, very user-friendly. And that's the Tetragon. Right, this particular thanks. design does come in several sizes. There's a smaller version. There's also three larger versions, uh, all the way up into the family size, eight person. So if you like the dome designs and the ease of... Uh, Ease of setup of this type of design, uh, a dome style tent is a great tent to consider. And that's the Tetragon. Thank you, Bill. You're welcome. Thank you very much.